Friends, here we are talking about JQ command syntax. Let me explain this on command line. See, we are using JQ command to parse some JSON data. So after parsing your JSON data using JQ command, you are going to get some output. But here to parse your input JSON data, we need some logic. So that logic we will write here. So logic to parse JSON data. So this is the simple syntax for JQ command. See here logic to parse JSON data can be framed in terms of like filters, functions, conditions. We will see step by step. I mean how to frame the logic to parse your JSON data. And here we are also having options for your JQ command, but they are always optional. That's why I am writing them inside square brackets. And for one of the option, even input is also optional. That's it. So this is simple syntax for your JQ command. Now let me give the syntax from official documentation. So for that you just run JQ space hyphen hyphen help. Now see that this is the usage of JQ command. Actually they have given three syntaxes, but you can cover all these three syntaxes with one simple syntax. Anyway, we will see step by step. And here for JQ command, we are having options. Right? See, these are the available options for your JQ command. So finally, this is the syntax for your JQ command. So be clear, options are always optional, but based on requirement, we can also pass options. And logic to pass JSON data that can be framed with the help of filters, conditions, functions, we will see step by step. And finally, input. Be clear, input can be a file or directly some JSON string or even you can also provide some Unix or Linux command which is giving output as a JSON data. And this is the syntax to get help for your JQ command. Okay, thank you.